What's up guys, Luke here, Director of Visual Marketing at Leaks. So many of the brands that we work with and digital marketers that we have as members and partners learn all the things they have through trial and error. Being in the e-commerce field, there's a lot of things that you can learn, a lot of mistakes that you can make. But my goal is for this video to save you lots of time and money. So the team at AdLeaks has come up with a bunch of tips to help you not make those mistakes. Lesson number one, make sure you connect to the whys and the hows behind your brand before you start selling something online. There's five questions you need to ask yourself. Number one, what are you selling? Do research, think deeply back into what exactly you were selling, the materials, um, why people want it, why people need it. Number two, what's the story of your brand specifically? Who discovered it? What was a pivotal moment that led to your product's discovery? Number three, how did your brand spring up? What was a problem that consumers had and your brand fulfilled? Number four, what is your unique selling point? What makes you different from the other brands that are out there? And then number five, what is your brand's promise? What is something that you promise to your clients? I swear if you answer all of these five questions, you're on the right track to number one. Lesson number two is reduce your customer's risk. Make sure your brand has something like the lifetime guarantee, the happiness guarantee, so you're gonna have some trust in knowing that your brand and your product are actually gonna work. Some other ones that companies use are the fun guarantee, the first time guarantee, the lowest price guarantee. We see all the big brands doing that right now. Make your cart visible at all times. We've seen a lot of data and a lot of studies have been showing that keeping your cart with a number in it visible the entire time helps with the customer journey, um, helps them realize that there's actually something in their cart. And when you're in Target, you wouldn't wanna just walk away from your cart. It's not the same, but online it's fairly similar. Even having the items in your cart visible at all times helps a lot. Lesson number four, reduce the number of checkout pages. The quickest way from point A to point B is less checkout pages. As everyone knows, the more things that are in between your customer and them buying something, the worse it is. As you can see in this chart from Statista, one of the main reasons why you have cart abandonment is too long of a checkout process. Lesson number five, offer free or flat rate shipping. One of the main reasons why a lot of customers abandon their carts is because they're blindsided by the shipping costs. But here's four tips that are gonna help with that. Number one is make shipping costs visible the entire time. Number two is offer free shipping. Number three is offer flat rate shipping. And number four is to offer a variety of shipping options. This might be expensive in the short term, but over time, this is gonna help a lot if you follow these four things. Lesson number six, get the fees out of the way early on. Fees are something that can piss people off. So the quicker that you can get them out of the way and be upfront about them, the better, the more trust the customer is gonna have in you and the less they're gonna abandon their cart. Lesson number seven, give as many payment options as possible. Back in the day, it was cash if you're in the same country. Now, there's like a hundred different ways to pay. There's nothing that pisses me off more than going into a store and having a cash register that only takes cash or doesn't take American Express or whatever it is. There's nothing that pisses you off more because it makes you feel like you wasted a bunch of your time. The cart abandonment is gonna shoot up. Now, if you offer cryptocurrency, you are a badass. Keep it up. Lesson number eight, don't force customers create a user account. I see so many websites doing this and not only do I not really wanna get emails from your company all the time, I just don't wanna have another user account to store on my computer, on my passwords. Uh, it's just not worth it to me at least. Some people it could be, but don't make them do a user account. Lesson number nine, get creative, baby. Do everything you can to make your products and your services stand out. Whether it's using contrasting colors, popping colors, relevant topics, good looking people, whatever it may be, do whatever you can to make them stand out because there's so much crap out there that you really need to do this in order to get your sales up. A good company that I like who does a good job of product creatives is Harry's. They do a really good job at contrasting colors, keeping things simple, adding that extra orange little pop that you can see how most of their branding is really cool. Lesson number 10, use wish lists as much as possible. People love these. The main thing about these is it obviously gets people to buy more things, but it also gets people to keep going back to your site over and over and over again, which is a good thing. Lesson number 11, upselling works. Now being a former employee of Olive Garden, I know this firsthand. For an extra charge, you can get unlimited breadsticks, but nobody should eat unlimited breadsticks. Well played Olive Garden. If you have multiple products to sell, an upsell flow is a must. Failing to do so is leaving money on the table. Even if it costs extra money to create a new product to upsell, do it. Lesson number 12, last but not least, give your customers the opportunity to gift your items. Who doesn't want an amazing gift? Make sure you know that gifting is available 
cost effective, and it's easy for your customers. So that's our million dollar e-commerce checklist. Hopefully it helped you out. If you're starting a brand, starting an online shopping website, do these 12 things, you'll be well on your way to selling a lot more. Thanks guys.